Hello there my HQZs, welcome to the Big Sunday Game. Now tonight is like no other. Tonight we are truly making serious history here at HQ Trivia UK. That's right, because we are giving away our biggest prize ever. Never before have we had a bag this big. Our cup runneth over, it is bursting at the seams. And even better, just one of you will walk away with the entire stash. Last week, two amazing players got really close, but we had no winners. That money rolled over to today for double the prize and double the fun. It's winner takes all again tonight. I will keep asking questions until there's just one of you left. He or she will take home some life-changing cash. I'm Shazza Garbanu, your mother of all mufties and tamer of toughties, and this is HQ Trivia, where if you get to the end, you'll have heaps of cash to spend. Now the rules here are simple. I'm going to ask you a series of questions and you've got 10 seconds to tap the answer. Get it correct, you move on. Get all of them right and you are the big winner, baby. That's right. I will keep on going as long as it takes to find the one. Last time we got to question 22. What will it be this time? Unlike last week, if no one gets the final question right, those players will all be put back in the game and will keep on going. Don't forget those free erasers. If you play close by two friends and an extra life can really be a lifesaver in this game in particular. You can use one this evening, but not after round 15. So pay attention to that. Tonight we are giving away a momentous 10,000 pounds, 10 Gs, 10K to one lucky winner. What can you do with that cash? What can't you do with it? That's the question. Buy a new car, buy a new life, buy a new mufti. Perhaps the possibilities are endless. But before you bank it, you know you've got to spank it. Are you ready? I can't hear you. Are you ready? All right, let's get to the quizzing, shall we? Here we go, here we go, here we go with Q. One, a person who is very shy wouldn't say boo to what? A ghost, a goose, a goat. Don't be shy now. Tap, tap, tap away. Wouldn't say boo to what? Well, a shy person wouldn't say boo to any of these really, would they? But who's getting that promise in writing? The only one to star in Top Gun. It is a goose. Wouldn't say boo to a goose. And oh my, are you serious? I'm going to go with a savage question here on Q1, simply because this is Q1. And we lost 33,000 of you already there. This is quite mind blowing. Might be the toughest Q1 we've ever had, I would say in HQ UK history, but 43,000 of you getting loosey-goosey and you are moving on to Q2. Which of these is a food usually eaten at Christmas? Pie chart, humble pie, mince pie. Wow, what a rough start for so many of you. Hopefully you had extra lives there at the ready. We'll see. It's the only thing getting served after the Monopoly match, but Humble Pie isn't the snack we are after. More of a treat than a tweet. Mince pie, we are talking about not my favorite thing to eat at Christmas time, but 45,000 of you made mince meats out of that question. That's more like it, isn't it? Now, of course, tomorrow we've got Monday movie night for you. So bring the popcorn, bring the fizzy drinks and the, the sweets and all of that good stuff. That's tomorrow at nine. And on Thursday, it's Marvel movie night. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, hope you're feeling like a superhero. Get on your, your tights and your leotard, that might help you win, right? That's happening Thursday at 9 p.m. This is happening now, it's Q3. Which type of bird is famous for congregating in Trafalgar Square? Pigeon, canary, flamingo. We try to avoid them at all costs, don't we? Which kind of bird are we talking about though? If you went for flamingos, I want to visit the Trafalgar Square in your head, wobbly enough on two feet. It's those flying rats, it's pigeon, or well, multiple thousands of pigeons in Trafalgar Square. 44,000 of you got that fair and Trafalgar Square. Well done to you. 
Q4. To the nearest mile, how long is the Channel Tunnel? 301 miles, 101 miles, 31 miles. It ends with one, and so will tonight's game. Will you be the one tonight? The rest of Europe may feel like 301 miles away right now, but it's actually much closer. Marathon, and a little bit, it's just 31 miles. It's super close. Yes, it is. That was a brutal question. 27,000 of you miles ahead of the rest, and you're heading straight to Q5. Hopefully those extra lives were at the ready there. Q5, which Latin phrase describes an individual's former college or university? Maya culpa alma mater? Carpe diem. As you can tell, I speak that influently. Not. Your student debt will make it feel like the wrong choice, but mea culpa isn't the answer here. Latin for nourishing mother. It's alma mater. That's what we were looking for. 22,000 of you nurturing types graduating on from Q5. You're still in the running to be the one tonight. It's Q6 coming at you right now. Which of these countries is a member of the G7 international organization? Italy, China, Australia. Paying for 10,000 big ones. That is a lot of cash, life-changing cash. They're the seven largest economies in the world, but which of this lot made it into the gang, getting their massive boot in the door? Italy is the country in question. Bene, bene, that was a savage one right there. Look at that, 13,000 of you gone here on Q6. 9,179 of you are moving on. And they used to be the G8 crew, by the way, but had to change their name after getting rid of Russia. All right, everyone, it's shout out time. Hello to Adam Anderson, who says he would buy his boyfriend a car with the cash tonight, very generous. Josh would spend it on 625 kebabs. Those are some expensive kebabs. Josh, are they really that tasty? Hi to the engineers crew, Tom, Kana, and Illy, who would blow it on an epic night out. That is some night. Rick would take a trip to NYC. Kinder would crack on with his driving lessons and Emily would open a guinea pig farm. All right, good suggestions there. Happy birthday, David, and I will see you in Lapland. Seeing the rest of you now, Q7, the largest mountain in our solar system can be found on which planet? Mars, Earth, Jupiter. You're moving mountain after mountain tonight to get to that big wonga. We're proud of our peaks, but we're in way over our heads here, making Everest look like a crouton. It's the Olympus Mons on Mars. Are you feeling that gravitational pull? 5,977 of you are. That was a brutal question right there. Now, Jupiter is a gas giant, so it doesn't even have a surface, let alone any mountains, right? Q8, prior to landing the role of 007, Pierce Brosnan appeared in a series of 80s TV ads for which type of drink? Irish whiskey, fizzy pop, mineral water. It's quite the upgrade he got after that. He's smooth and Irish, but Pierce wasn't the face of whiskey, the least healthy of the three. It was fizzy pop. That's right there, Coke is so refreshing. Great taste, just like calorie. Quite the action hero already right there, wasn't he? Yes, Fizzy Pop is the answer. Another savage triple the sausage on this £10,000 game. 1,040 of you are keeping it popping. Now, he played a dashing Bond-like character in a Diet Coke advert, as you saw, which led him to getting the actual Bond role in the 90s. That is such a cool story. Q9, including collaborations, which of these acts has spent the most weeks in the UK top 40 singles chart, Beyonce, Rihanna, or Madonna. You could download all of their songs, go to all of their concerts, still have money left over if you win tonight. She may be the queen of pop, but it seems Madge has been dethroned here, shining bright like a diamond. Bad girl, Riri. Yes, Rihanna is the answer, and you lot can stand under my umbrella anytime. 835 of you on another brutal question. Got that correct. Madonna has an impressive tally of 516 weeks, but Riri has racked up 688 in just over a decade. Work, girl, work, 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 working our way towards the 10 Gs and Q10. Which of these restaurant chains has the largest number of outlets in the world? McDonald's, Subway, KFC. Not my favorite restaurants, but every once in a while you've got to stop by one, right? When you're really hungry. 
It's not a proper high street without the lot of them, but who's rocking the most restaurants, selling sandwiches by the half foot and the foot? It's Subway has the most outlets. Yeah, 539 of you were not fooled there, scoffing that one down. Now there are very few places you can't get a McDonald's, but Subway has 8,000 more locations than they do. That is a lot of locations. It's Q11, which of these terms is not thought to have originated in the 80s. Yuppie, yomp, yaffle. What do you think? What feels good? Are you gonna be the one tonight? They were all said in the 80s, but who's actually been around since the 1700s? Another word for a green woodpecker, yaffle. Have you heard of yaffle before? 231 of you pecking your way through Q11. We're hemorrhaging players. Yes, we are. We lost 300 of you there. We've been yomping around difficult terrain since the Falklands and mocking yuppies since 1982. Now this would usually be our last question, but not this time. We're going to keep going and going. Q12, which of these movies failed to win any Academy Awards? The Wolf of Wall Street, Zero Dark Thirty, Spectre. They were snubbed, I tell you, snubbed. Hopefully you won't be snubbed tonight. It was hardly best picture material, but Spectre did win an Oscar for its theme tune, stuck with the DiCaprio curse, unfortunately. The Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> Remember that scene? 149 of you wolves in sheep's clothing got that correct. Despite being nominated for five awards, including best picture, the wolf went home empty handed. 149 of you still in the game. Going after that cash strong. Q13, is this your lucky number? Which of these happened during the first preview of the Harry Potter stage play? An owl escaped, Harry's wand broke, a broomstick caught fire. Sounds like they're doing a Voldemort to me. What do you think? Well, it may be Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, but which of these curses spoiled its first showing better at swooping than sweeping? An owl escaped. Twi who got that right? 86 of you did. We're down to 86 players in the game. Kicking off with a hoot, an owl escaped its cage and flew into the audience. Obviously had some magic post to deliver or something. 86 players left in the game right now. Q14 and your last chance to use extra lives if you get this wrong. Here we go. Of these car brands, which was the best selling globally in 2017? Fiat, Peugeot, Audi. Things are really heating up. This is where you start to sweat a little bit, isn't it? You feel your palms getting clammy. Toyota thrashed the lot of them, but who put up the biggest fight, the cheapest supermarket? About it's Audi. And howdy to 36 of you who got that correct. If you got it wrong and you have an extra life, use it now. It's your last chance. Audi sold over 1.8 million new cars last year, which rocketed them to just 13th place. Good luck this year, guys. All right, Q15, here we go. Which US author spent some of his professional life in a diplomatic post in an English port city? Nathaniel Hawthorne, Herman Melville, Edgar Allan Poe. Keep it diplomatic in the chat. I know how you guys get. It's the home of Silla Black and Stevie G, but one of these guys worked in Liverpool for a bit. The dark romantic with the spiky name, Nathaniel Hawthorne, is the answer we were looking for. 16 players got that correct. Well done to you. Now, he was made the United States Consul, seen as the most lucrative foreign service position. At the time, this is a lucrative game, that is for sure. Q16, 16 players left in the game. Let's go. Quentin Tarantino cited which horror movie is a major influence on The Hateful Eight, The Shining, The Cabin in the Woods, The Thing. 16 players left. Good luck to all of you on this one. Three claustrophobic classics, but Quentin cited just one as inspiration. The one where that stuff happened to those people, you know, the thing. The thing is the correct answer. 12 of you got that correct. Well done to you. Awesome stuff. Both films involve Kurt Russell being snowed in, but he only smashes a priceless guitar in one of them. That hurt to see for sure. Q17, which of these artists did not perform at the first ever MTV Video Music Awards? Tina Turner, Michael Jackson, Rod Stewart, 10,000 pounds at stake here. 12 players left. 
They were at the top of their games in 1984. But who didn't get to sing that night? Mickey One Glove, Michael Jackson, who is moonwalking onwards. Six players holding on tightly. You are moonwalking onto the next round now. MJ did appear on stage, but that was just to pick up his three awards. Chamon and come on. To Q18. In 2018, the UK government used imagery from which arcade game in a road safety campaign? Pac Man, Frogger, Space Invaders. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. Six players left. Is this going to be the big question? Well, it's the only one that involves crossing a road, but Frogger is not the game we're after here. Getting far too close for comfort, it was Space Invaders. You tailgate the car in front. The closer you get, the less time you'll have to react. Don't be a space invader. Good advice there. Who tapped on space invaders? Six of you all, six of you got that correct. Our biggest brainiacs in the game for sure. Aiming to stop people tailgating, the campaign told us, stay safe, stay back. But we're moving forward, all six of you, to Q19. Which of these has not been a class of US submarine? Crab, alligator, dolphin. Hopefully you're all experts on US submarine classes. I'm certainly not. Three underwater legends, but who doesn't have a type of submarine named after them? Better at side to side than going down anyway. Crap is the correct answer. Three players got that Correct. It looks like one of you did not answer in time, sadly. Now, they've yet to stick massive pincers on the submarine, but I'm sure we'll get a crab class soon enough. Three players, my heart can hardly take it, is Q20. The founder of Bolivia features in the official name of which other South American country? Peru, Colombia, Venezuela. Good luck to all three of you. I've answered 19 correct so far in a row that is awesome now simon bolivar liberated all of them in the 1800s but who's been giving him an official shout out since 1999 it's the bolivarian republic of venezuela oh my goodness oh my gosh we have our one winner my lovely <laughs> Congratulations to our one winner tonight. We started with around 80,000 players and Crykel or Critchell, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, you are taking on, and I love to say this, 10,000 pounds. That is life-changing cash right there. It looks like you're almost in tears right now, and so you should be tears of joy. Absolutely awesome. You are our biggest brainiac in the game tonight and you worked so hard 20 questions correct to take home 10 thousand pounds that was an absolutely epic ride everybody it really was one of the most exciting ever my i add we made history and i need a pint of water after all of that maybe a beer as well crikel probably does too now i will be calling our big winner to say congrats so if you see a weird number pop up please answer it's not a pesky telemarketer it's just me I'm Sharon Carpenter, this is the one, here's where to find me, right, you know this already, let's do it again sometime very soon, so much fun, we'll be back tomorrow at 9pm with Movie Monday, and another stash of cash to compete for, £1,000 of it, until then, have an awesome rest of your nights, and I will see you soon, alright, bye!